Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to make a follow-up video on, uh, on pulse TIG welding for uh, like uh, 065 stainless. Um, I'm doing this on the positioner. It's best doing the positioner if it's like, you know, small parts or if you can, uh, if you can plan out your, your tubes and pipes on, uh, you know, building on prior when they're little or when they're straight with a little bend. You can plan that out to where you can uh, weld them on the wheel uh, you'll get a way nicer product in the end you can do this just on the bench as well but you'd have to stop every I don't know 15 20 dabs and this is just the togginess these settings I'm going to show you we're going to do pulse uh, with these settings you can get full penetration on stainless so if you purge it and you get full penetration it'll be quite quite strong so you can get away with exhaust and stuff like that you can add filler if you want just dial back the uh the pulse the pulse rate so uh yeah this is 065 uh stainless 304 i believe and uh i'll show you uh one of the parameters i like the most for this uh for this material um yeah i'm back to using my htp uh, i had an everlast 210 ext with the cooler I sold that uh, a couple weeks ago, and I just ordered the new 355 EXT with a cooler. Uh, I have a cooler on this HTP. Um, I'm not sure I like it. It's a little loud. And what I mainly use this machine for is titanium and stainless, and uh, that's like very low amperage. So I don't think I need a cooler for this. I might return it. Uh, I just set it up earlier today, and it's. It's pretty damn loud. I thought the Everlast cooler was loud. This one might not be as loud, but it's definitely loud enough to where it bothers me. I don't want to listen to it, you know, the whole time. So, yeah, I think I'm going to return that and just stick with the cooler in the Everlast I got coming. Uh, it's actually the facelift Everlast, which is cool. The one I had before was just a regular. And the cooler and uh, welder like clipped together, so it's like a stackable, like the Dynasty 280s, that type of thing. But uh, I'm getting off track. Let, let me show you these uh, parameters. When I say how loud this cooler is, let me turn it on for you guys and you can hear. It's pretty loud. It's almost as loud as the uh, Everlast, like I said. The cool thing about this cooler is though, it has uh, like a little safety, so if it stops flowing water, it'll alarm it. So that's cool. So what we're going to do is, uh, on the settings, we're doing uh, 100 amps. We're going to turn pulse on, and we're going to do uh, three pulses a second. The duration is going to be 20... We can do 25, that's fine, that's set on 25. And then the uh, background amperage is gonna be around 30%. I'm running 25 CFH of argon, and uh, so what I just showed you is uh, this setting right here. I've been playing around a little bit, so it is, oh, hold on. Hold on guys, you popped off the tripod. One second. So yeah, that's this uh, this top setting right there. And I'm not purging this, but you should. And as you can see, it's full penetration. So yeah, let me give you a little example, and then we'll uh, then we'll wrap this video up. It's getting kind of long. Right. And I'm going full pedal for this. For the entire time, I'm doing full pedal. I'll do like, uh, 
I'll do I'll do a full pass. I'll do the very top here so you can see. It shouldn't take long. Oh, and the positioner. Every positioner is different, but I'm centered it around. I don't know the RPM, but I'm set at like three, three and a half my speed control here. I gotta figure out a better clamp situation for my wrist. I have this cheap dollar store clamp and it's flimsy. It keeps falling off. I won't do I won't do the full run. But uh, my clamp fell off midway. And it's a little hot because there's no, you know, there's no two to uh, to dissipate the heat. But that's the settings. If it'll focus, that's it. All right, thanks for watching.